A hearty welcome to the 12 tribes scattered abroad and to those grafting in. It's grafting. Grafted in. I'm just excited. It's late at night, but guys, it is. It, this this can't be stopped. The awakening cannot be stopped. It's in it's in full swing. And you, listen, you either, you either get right with the Most High. You either get on board. You either accept the truth. I'm talking to, to you Israelites and you Gentiles. Mostly you Gentiles in this case. But there are some, there's some, you know, there's some Israelites that are still in denial. But y'all either get on board or get left behind. That's 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 what it's going to be. Anyway, I came across this video of this sister that just recently discovered her origins, right? The truth of her origins, and um, I'm just <laughs> I just wanted to share her video with you. I'll link the original below. It's not my content, but um, just let's hear what the sister said, and I might might just provide some light commentary. I'm hiding in the bathroom at work. <laughs> Uh, but don't mind me, don't mind me. So I'm a little early, so I gotta wait for, I'm teaching a class for a cooking class. So I'm just waiting for the other class to swap out. But anyway, so forget all about that. So, um, as some of you guys know, um, I have, I posted about uh, Pastor Omar. I do not know how to pronounce his last name. I'm not even gonna butcher it. But I started all the way back to his old sermons and if you don't know me, my name is Chandra Mariel. I'm just finding out that I am a Hebrew, um, one of uh, which, you know, I'm a what they call black Israelite, but not. So there's like a difference. So there's the black Israelites that stand on the corner. But then there's the black Israelites of the Bible, the original people. And not that we're different. It's just that I don't believe everything that they teach which is why for so long i didn't pay any attention to what they were saying and hear that yeah i just want to interject and hear that hear that right i've told you guys that uh, certain of these black so-called black hebrew israelites that stand on the street corner shouting people down and 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 reading from a script with pamphlets like mormons or seven day adventists okay some of these a lot not all not all but a lot of these uh, shouting black Hebrew Israelites on the street corner are not representative of the vast majority of Israelites at large, right? Actual Hebrews at large. And they can't, a lot of them can't defend their position beyond Deuteronomy 28, right? Beyond Deuteronomy 28 or or um, the uh, Revelation 2, 9, 3, 9, right? They can't defend their position beyond that. Got to be able to come better with that because you can't just stand at the street corner and shout people down because you're going to turn people away. And some of them are plants. Don't uh, don't don't get that um, twisted either. Some of them are plants. So this sister was like, hey, I didn't believe them at first because they were just shouting and screaming at people. Keep that in mind. Because it wasn't adding up from um, what my understanding. But now that God through his prophet, Master's Voice Prophecy Blog, has revealed that we are, in fact, Hebrew, um, and we are a part of the tribe of Judah, Judah, however you want to say it. Um, it's just like, I don't know, it's almost like God is, I'm just accepting it, and it's like, I, I'm not, I don't have, I don't, it's like, yup, you know what? all the pieces fit this makes sense and like i said the other day like i have such this peace just just from finding out who i am and like like that my people are the people of the bible that we've been reading about and i i certainly uh, i certainly can feel right there right the peace that comes with knowing who you are because remember with it we are the only group of people who have had our identity stripped away from us, right? The Native Americans, oh yeah, they went through some 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 problems. I'm not saying they didn't, but they know who they are, right? They they weren't ever stripped of who they were, right? The Asians, right? Whatever whatever different group, the different groups of Asians came over here, right? Got afflicted. They didn't uh, get their identity taken away. No other people have had that happen but us. So I quite identify. And relate to the, the peace that she's talking about. Hey, once I find found out who I was, once once the Most High revealed it to me, there was a peace that I had, a peace in knowing who I was. And the Bible, when I read this Bible, this Bible that so many of us were were raised up on, right? 
and uh, the, the all these people that I'm reading about in the Bible, right, looked like me. That's <laughs> there's a piece that comes with that. I'm laughing, but yeah. Yeah, uh, just it just it just it's like clicking. I can't explain it. And um, by the way, if you already knew this, God bless you. Um, you don't need to comment below saying I already knew. If you already knew, I hope you was telling people about it. I hope mm -hmm. you was doing your job and telling people about it. Yeah. But if you already knew, God bless you. More people to the family. Like this is a part of what the prophecy. Like we're all gonna have to wake up. Yes. And so this is just my journey in waking up. So um, I'm gonna share my experience. And there's also people arguing in my comments about um, like I put, uh, you know. Yeshua through the Master Voice prophecy um, has let us know that we the curse is broken. The curse that was upon us is broken. And like people in my comment talk about, oh, th that's Yeshua is the devil's name that he gave. It's the same as Jesus. You know what? Jesus knows who his name is. He knows the heart of the person that's calling him. You guys are worried about the wrong thing. Let's all come to know who we are let's all like figure this thing out and, and let's be excited that this something huge is happening yeah some of y'all arguing about the wrong things right some of y'all israelites not all of you not all but some of you israelites be arguing over the wrong things over garbage things over over things that are ultimately of little to no consequence and and yahweh is out here y'all wants to save souls y'all is out here waking our people up and you guys are arguing well you can't say yeshua you got to say yahushua well it's not yahweh it's yahuwah it ain't yahoo it's yahawashi it's just ridiculous stuff turning people away talking people down some you got you got to stop and, and the, don't even get me started on the 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 well um, uh, you got a drop of white blood in you you can't be saved and that and all, all that other nonsense listen to the sister shout out to this sister shout out to her for going through <laughs> hitting like several points in this little impromptu video shout out to her and it's like if that's what your heart is like someone's coming out and saying like oh i'm so happy to find out who i am thank you, Jesus, or thank you, Yeshua, whatever they're calling him. And, and that's what you say. That's what your focus is. Not like, oh, I'm so happy that you've come to this uh, revelation. Um, you know, God bless you in your journey. May the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you into all things. Because that's how the process works. You talk about you, I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Just stop. Have several seats. Mm. But anyway, um, but... Anyway, for Get those out. who are just learning like me, then, and who are following my journey, then, you know, this is exciting, and um, I can't, like I said, I can't tell you the peace that I'm feeling, like, I'm obsessed, like, I'm listening to Pastor Omar's stuff, and, like, I'm just obsessed with it, like, I'm like, I can't get enough information, and I'm just wanted to say that, so I'm hiding in the bathroom, and to tell you that, and God is good, and I, and, like, I just, something something's shifting something big is about to happen and i'm so excited and i'm just documenting that so god bless the people who are finding out too along with me and i appreciate you guys you know your comments and your feedback and the people who are being polite about it and uh something big i, I meant to pause that a moment ago but it's hey something big is gonna happen what's gonna, gonna happen the second exodus I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, telling you, telling you, that, and I'm not the only one. I'm not claiming this, obviously, and nor am I prophesying. So don't be where you said I'm, I'm not prophesying. I'm not putting any dates, but I'm telling you guys right now, the second exodus is happening soon, right? That don't mean next week. That don't mean next month. That don't even mean next year, but it's happening soon. Something he's the most high is waking his people up. He's, he's, he's revealing his truth and something big is going to happen and it's happening right um that's pretty much the end of the video like i said i'll leave it linked below if you want to watch the last like minute or so of it 